It is 616 on this Tuesday morning, and we are looking live. At, it's still dark. We're looking at Lake Wiley, but what a peaceful start to the day as folks are heading over the bridge there into North Carolina, right across the lake. But here in just a little while when that sun pops up, man, that is going to be one spot that I would love to wake up to every morning in South Carolina. Chilly start, Ted, but yeah. man, it's a bit, we're getting close to where people are going to want to be out on the water. Not yeah. in the water, but out on the water in the mornings. Just buy a body of water. The yeah. sunrise time officially is going to be 6.57, so uh, okay. we're less than an hour away, and we're going to start getting brighter between now and then, and there's no cloud cover that's going to block that sunshine. Which is why it's cold now. We took the blanket off, so it's yeah. cool now. But, yeah, the next couple of days, we're just going to progressively warm up. Take it up little by yeah. little. We'll hit 80 degrees by Thursday. Today, though, I think we're only going to peak in the low 70s. But we'll take it, which is, again, right near normal for this time of year. So this is going to be a picture-perfect textbook type of day. Temperatures starting a little bit on the cold side. Usually we start in the 40s, but we're looking more so in the 30s with the high pressure in control across the eastern United States. So not seeing too much in the way of any rain or storms, and that's some good news because we've had a number of weeks where we've had the impacts for travel and also for some safety across parts of the country. But I'm not expecting any major delays for airports here. Heading into the next few days, maybe coming out of the Midwest, a, a little bit of a delay from weather for, in terms of rain for parts of Omaha and a little bit of those storms from Miami into New Orleans. But otherwise, we're going to be clear across the East United States, so not seeing any major impacts when it comes to weather that will uh, stop you from enjoying your spring break. Taking a look at those temperatures, it's a little bit on the warm side and mild across our Gulf states. Chill, still on the chilly and cold side across the mid-Atlantic up through northeast, but we are going to be warming up with lots of sunshine getting into the low 70s for the peak heating hours of the day. And notice how quiet we are, stretching from the Great Plains to the Midwest and into the new e northeast mid-Atlantic hosting that sunshine through your Tuesday into Wednesday, where we're going to be seeing the cloud cover start to build. As Thursday approaches and that moisture starts to creep in, I'm thinking late Thursday into your Friday, could see some rain chances increase before some storms could impact the end of the work week. So Friday is going to be the main day to watch for some rain chances. That tapers off on Saturday, heading into your weekend. Temperatures this morning in the mid to upper 30s around the Queen City. You're looking at a high of about 38 for Gastonia as well. Upper 20s for Boone, and we are going to be seeing more in the way of uh, the uh, 70s as you get into the peak heating hours of the day. So nice and comfortable for the, today. Mid 60s up towards the higher elevations. And that seven-day forecast, I think we'll be ho hosting close to 80 degrees on Thursday. We're a little bit cooler with that low-pressure system giving us some rain, some cloud cover heading into Friday. But it won't take long for us to rebound back into the low 80s for Sunday to finish off the weekend. Monday of next week starts off mid-70s with lots of sunshine.